Hello friends, welcome to Secret of Electronics. In this video, we will learn how to program the ESP8266 12E chip using a USB to TTL converter module and the Arduino IDE. The given circuit diagram demonstrates the programming setup for a ESP8266 12E module using a USB to TTL converter. Since the USB to TTL converter cannot supply sufficient power to the ESP8266 12E, a external 3.3 volt power supply is used to power the module. The EN and reset pins are pulled up to 3.3 volt using 10 kilo ohm resistors to ensure proper operation. A reset button is connected to the reset pin to allow manual resets. The GPIO0 pin is pulled up using 10 kilo ohm resistor and is connected to a Flash button, which when pressed during reset, puts the ESP8266 12E into boot mode for flashing firmware. The GPIO15 pin is pulled down using 10 kilo ohm register to ensure proper booting. The TX and RX pins of the ESP8266 12E are connected to the RX and TX pins of the USB to TTL converter for serial communication. This setup allows flashing new firmware onto the ESP8266 12E while ensuring stable operation with an external power source. The given Arduino code is designed to blink the built-in LED of the ESP8266 12E which is connected to GPIO2. In the setup function, the LED pin GPIO2 is configured as an output using pin mode LED underscore pin dot output. The loop function continuously toggles the LED state with a 1 second interval. Since the LED on the ESP8266 12E is active low, setting digital light LED underscore pin dot low turns on the LED, while digital light LED underscore pin dot high turns it off. The delay 1000 function introduce a 1 second pause between each state change making the LED blink at a 1 hertz frequency, 1 blink per second. Now you can see that I have created the ESP8266 12E circuit on a PCB, which we discussed at the beginning of this tutorial. I just need to connect the USB to TTL converter module and the external 3.3 volt power supply to the ESP8266 12E. According to the circuit diagram, I am using a ESP32 board as an external 3.3 volt power supply. If you prefer, you can use a lab bench power supply instead. Just make sure not to set the supply voltage greater than 3.3 volt. Now we need to add the ESP8266 board to the Arduino IDE. First open the Arduino IDE. After opening it, go to File and then Preferences. Next we need to add the ESP8266 URL in the additional boards manager URLs. If you already have any URLs in the additional boards manager, you can separate them using a comma. You can copy the URL by visiting the GitHub link provided in the description. I have already added this URL in the additional boards manager URLs. After pasting the URL, click OK. Now go to tools, then boards and open the boards manager. In the boards manager, Search for ESP8266. After searching, you will see ESP8266 by ESP8266 community. Install it. You can see that I have already installed it. Now connect the USB to TTL converter to the PC and do not forget to connect the ESP8266 chip to the USB to TTL converter according to the main circuit diagram we discussed at the beginning of this tutorial. After connecting it to the PC, Open the code file in the Arduino IDE, which you can download from the given link in the description. After opening the file, go to Tools, then Board. Now you will see ESP8266. Click on it and select Generic ESP8266 module. Now click the Upload button in the Arduino IDE. After clicking the Upload button, you will see Connecting. After some time, now press and hold the flash button and at the same time,
press the reset button when you press the reset button you will see that the code starts uploading to the esp8266 chip once the upload begins you can release the flash button after the upload is complete press the reset button now you will see that when you press the reset button then the built-in led starts blinking because it is connected to gpio pin 2 if you liked this video then do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel to watch our upcoming interesting tutorials